Hello and welcome to our lesson 7, I think we're on now, uh, on our P5 and space for reflection topic. And today we're going to be looking at part 1 of refraction of waves and we're going to be looking at refractive index. Anyway, here are our objectives. Okay, so here are our objectives for today. So we're looking at refraction of waves and we're focusing on refractive index. So by the end of this lesson... Uh, we should know and understand what happens when waves move from one medium uh, to another. Okay, so we should remember that when light is shone uh, from air or from a vacuum and it hits another medium, so here uh, we've got a glass block or a, um, some water, it will slow it down. It will change the speed in which it's moving. So what happens is the wave will change the direction. In fact, let's get rid of that. Change the direction in which it's moving in. Now, again, when it gets uh, to the edge here, again, it will change the direction in which it's moving in. So it should be going at the same angle as it is here. Now, on something like this, we have what we call the normal line, which is at 90 degrees to the change in medium. Now, the angle of refraction is this angle here between the line and the normal. And then you've got the angle of incidence here, which is the angle between the normal and the initial line, the line of incidence, and then we've got the same here, so you've got the incidence line and then you've got the refraction line. Now we often refer to the angle of incidence as I and the angle of refraction as R. So this angle here is angle of incidence I and it's 1. This is angle of refraction 1, angle of incidence 2, and angle of refraction 1. Okay, so the refractive index is something that all materials actually have, and you can work it out using this equation. The refractive index is equal to the speed of light in a vacuum divided by the speed of light in the medium. Now, it does have some symbols that go with it. So here we've got N, which is the refractive index. We've got V0, which is the speed of light in a vacuum. And then we've got V, which is the speed of light in the medium. So what we're going to do is have a look at an example. So, so light travels at speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the positive 8, which is 300 million metres per second in a vacuum, and 2 times 10 to the 8, which is 200 million metres per second in glass. What is the refractive index of the glass? So if we put, put it into this equation, so we've got refractive index is equal to 300 million divided by 200 million, which equals 1.5. Now, if we have a look here at the units, we've got meters per second are the units here, and meters per second are the units here. So because of that, meters per second divided by meters per second mean that refractive index has no units. Now the other thing that we definitely need to be able to do is rearrange this equation. Now the likelihood is you may have the refractive index of a material and we know that the speed of light is going to be this, uh, 300 million meters per second. But you might be asked to work out what the speed of light is through a medium. Now to rearrange this we can put this into a triangle. So we would have the V0, the N, and the V. 
meaning if you wanted to calculate this you would do the v0 divided by n and again if you wanted to calculate the speed of light in a vacuum you would do n times the speed of light in the medium now dispersion is one of the prettier things that occurs in physics and this is what happens when you shine light through a prism now if we were to shine white light into the prism we would have the light refracted like so now when we came to the second refraction here the light which is made up of all the various different colors uh, of the spectrum would then start to separate so you would end up with the darker colors the bluer colors at one end and then the lighter colors the red uh, the reds orange is and yellows at the opposite end now the reason we get this is purely down to the wavelength now the wavelength of the blue is a lot less than the wavelength of the red so we've got shorter wavelengths here now because of the shorter wavelength as it travels through here and is refracted it is slowed down the most so the shorter the wavelength the slower the speed now the slower the speed means that the glass has more refraction on the blue waves than it does on the red so it creates a bigger bend for the blue than it does for the red meaning that we get more deviation on the wave okay so that's the end of our lesson on refraction of waves and looking at refractive index of materials now we've just covered what happens uh, during refraction so what happens to the speed of a wave as it changes from one medium to another and then we've looked at how we can actually calculate the refractive index and how much it's going to move move by and therefore work out the critical angle which is something we'll spend more time on in our next lesson where we do some further refraction anyway uh, i hope you've enjoyed this and i will see you next time take care bye bye